is up guys, it's your boy Siswitch here bringing you guys the Cinema 4D tentacle effect uh, add-on effect or whatever you want to call it and you can see it's like right here it's like coming out of like coming out my like logo and whatever it looks like little tentacles swirly swirlies and uh, it's a really cool little effect that you can learn how to do and it's a pretty slick little add-on effect and you make new styles out of it and all that cool stuff you've probably seen other people do it and uh, if you looked up the tutorial how to do it you maybe got this like German dude talking about hair follicles and doing all this weird shit I'm mean, like what the hell but I ran how to do this. I ran into how to do this, uh, the easier way. So I'm just gonna show you the easier way and not the super complicated German guy way. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna delete this one, and uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go ahead and go to freehand spline. That's basically on your spline tab, the first one. So you can just click on it regularly. And uh, this, what you're drawing here, is the shape of what your tentacle is gonna be. So I'm just gonna basically make a nice, cool little uh, question mark type of shape. So as soon as you have your spline drawn to where your tentacle, you want your tentacle to look like, uh, you just basically want to click on your spline tab again, click on circle, and uh, as soon as you click on circle, change your radius from 200 to about 15, and then uh, you want to go to your nerves tab and go to sweep nerves and drag your circle and uh, spline into the sweep nerves. You can just control click on the circle and spline, drag them in, and then all you got to do from now is uh, click on your sweep nerves and go to your end scale and change it from 100 to 0 and that is basically how you do it. It's real simple, real easy, real quick, so you can actually add this on any time, any speed art, it's really easy, it's really simple. And uh, yeah, that's basically what you have is what you have is what you get. <laughs> uh, it's, it comes from like a big radius to a small radius, that's exactly what the end to start one does. So uh, yeah, and uh, if you just want to know how to move this, because you know it's pretty hard to move it without having the arrows on top, like on the object, so all you want to do is either click on this, this little orange without the um, triangles in it, and drag your arrows. Or if you're, you can be on the first tab and hold Control, and uh, then move the arrows. It's the same exact thing. So uh, yeah, that's how you move it, uh, your arrows to the object. And now you can just add these little tentacles to your machinery of logoness. And uh, yeah, boom. I'm just gonna go like this. Oh yeah, that looks cool, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, boom. And you just do real cool stuff with it. If you just want to make a new shape, all you gotta do is go to freehand and do it all over again. Oh, that's a really weird shape. But it doesn't matter. Just circle, then sweep nerves, change your radius to your circle to from 200 to 15. That's 14, 15. Go to your sweep nerves and change your end scale to zeros. Real quick, real simple, like I said. And it's a real cool add-on effect. You can go ahead and make new styles with it if you want. Or newer styles. It's been, it's been out for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this real cool, sweet, fast tutorial on how to do this tentacle effect and stuff, so stop asking me. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's basically how you do it. I'll see you guys later. Says so, so, you out. Peace. Oh, oh, shit. Thanks for not hurting yourselves, by the way, you beautiful, beautiful people. I love you.